the disappointments? What part do I play knowing that I'm perfected, knowing that I'm accepted, knowing that I'm faultless, just my spiritual blessing, knowing that I'm unblameable, knowing that I have peace with God, knowing that it made me to be accepted in Jesus, knowing that I'm righteous. Somebody say I'm righteous. What part do I play now? Knowing that the word has been released, I feel this, Lord. Knowing that in that word is everything appointed to me. When God said to Abraham, out of your own bowels, you should have a son. He was talking about Isaac who came 25 years later, but it was really talking about you and I who came years later after church. You all ain't saying nothing. Because when he told him that in many nations you should birth, he was talking about you. Yes. Yes. So when he spoke to Adam, I, 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 Abraham in chapter 15, he was already talking about his church. But the church didn't come to thousands of years you know, later. later. Right. So what do you do, Justin? You have a promise. And it looks impossible. And it's supposed to look impossible in process, Q. Because in process is where you learn to trust him. That's true, that's true, that's true. See, the people can't handle the process who don't believe God in the first place. I wish I could testify. I don't walk with so many people, John, that are close to me, who I thought were sold out for God. After we sold out, tell all hell broke loose. I went, hell broke loose. Did that person turn into a whole nother person. And you know why that is? Because they never believed God in the first place. They were serving to look good. They were serving to make you feel good. But anybody who truly believed God, they would not run out of time to talk. You want to say that? They would understand that they're going to trust God in the midst of death. If God says, this is my marriage, yes, she treat me bad. Yes, he tripping. But he said, this is my marriage. I'm not running because I trust his plan. Right. Every now and then you have to tell the Lord, I trust the plan. I don't understand it, but I trust your plan. I want to get some straightening, but I trust your plan. I want to cuss somebody out right now, but I trust your plan. I'm saying I'm a new creation. I'm not going to cuss them out. That's what I used to do as Abraham. As Abraham, I can't cuss them out, so I'm just going to trust your plan. I'm just going to be still and keep my mouth shut. I keep walking until I get to the next place. Or I wish somebody would hear what I'm saying. I wish somebody would call me this morning. Sometimes you just got to shut up and say, Lord, I trust your plan. I had a plan this way. I had it planned that way. I had it figured out. It didn't out, but I'm not going to quit. I'm still going to trust your plan. Yes, Lord. Yes. Someone hold on trust him. Yes. It's so sweet to trust in Jesus. Jack, oh, come on, talk back to me. You got to stop. You, you can't have patience yes. until you trust him. Because if you don't trust him, you're going to run and the devil hits you with everything that he's got. Come on, sir. Oh, I'll be here this morning. I need all the Victorian people to clap their hands this morning. You have been to hell and high water. That devil thought he had you out. You shut yourself off. And you bumped back and came right back to church. Glory to God. You thought, come on, now you are giving up on yourself. So you can Lord. Trust is important. We receive through patience. We accept inheritance by faith. We receive it through patience. Patience is this. I never sway from my calling. That's right. Come on, sir. That's right. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. Patience of this, young man. I never sway from my calling. I smoked dope after I heard I was called. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Obedience. But I never swayed from my calling. I had to hear people tell my wife, why are you still with him? He ain't gonna never be nothing. Look at all them children he have. He done lost his job. And but I never swayed. Go ahead, sir. From my calling. Yes. Because patience sake when I never swayed from my calling from my faith or from my reverence for God. And no matter where I'm at at the moment or what I've done, I'm gonna have reverence for him. Am I teaching you out here? His things gonna always come first. If you don't be careful, the church will tell you when you make a mistake, God don't want nothing to do with you. That's what he wants more to do with you. He put you through something to see if you don't trust him enough to walk the other way. But the church will tell you, oh, you gotta walk away. You better did that again. Lord, if the Lord can punish you. He can't punish you as he's a liar. He already punished Jesus for you, right? That's what he's saying. He's wounded for your transgression. He wounded for your iniquity. Well, do we believe the Bible? The chastisement of your feet was upon him. And with his stripes you're here. So if you know that he already took your punishment, why would God punish you again unless he'd be a hypocrite like us? Come on, sir. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm going to get to the point I want to make because I'm going to show you something. But one of the things that the Lord revealed to me and really got me concerned is He told me on the train, He said, Charles, the problem with the church is this. You don't believe your own message. Come on. Come on. 
Y'all stop and talk to me now. You want to affect the world, but you don't believe what you're saying. Wow. I want somebody to get this clearly on this camera this morning. We want to affect the world, preacher. We want to affect the world, but we don't believe our own calling. We tell you, please hear me. I want this to go to the world. We tell you, God forgiving your sin. Your sin, Jesus paid the debt of your sin. Somebody say amen. amen. We tell you that. And the minute you come to church, oh, I, I like this. I want us to go to Jesus. The first thing is say, God going to punish you for sin. Yeah. Wow. We don't believe our own message. Come on. Come on now. My God. That's true. Come on. That's true. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believes on him shall not perish, Amen. but have everlasting life. Amen. For God sent not his son in the world to condemn the world, yeah. but that the world through him might be saved. Amen. So how are we going to tell you that God's going to condemn you for something you do? Walking home from the drug hole. 